Hey guys, today I'm just going to be doing a tutorial on a script I modified. I did not create the original script, I cannot find who made it though. I know I downloaded it from one of my discords, but I can't find it. If you let me know who made it, and I can verify that they actually made it, I will credit them. But I made all the aggro stuff and whatnot. So, this is what it'll look like after you finish. Uh, let me restart the game real quick, because kind of broke it, my bad. Okay, this is what it'll look like. So as you can see, the player's looking at it right now, and the aggro meter down here is gaining, like, or increasing. Once that reaches the max limit you set, it'll turn on aggro move, and it will move even while the player is not looking at them. Oh, wrong thing. A real player, if I grab that, it should start chasing like that. I think aggro is active right now. Forgot to lock it. So if I go here, let me go in here real quick. Let me lock this so I can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, see, aggro is active. So even if you're looking at it, it will still chase you like that. And then once that hits zero, it should disable. And then you can look at it again. Um, for these settings, I would modify it just a bit, though, because running on the actual like Oculus Quest, or meta quest it run it gains and loses a lot slower because of the fps um yeah and then you if you want to test it you can even set it manually and it'll turn on or it should um if i turn that off and then let me set this to zero like that and i turn on aggro it'll turn on and, and you can just test it um, the animation speeds, so those, so, wait, come here. Okay, so when I pause this, or when I change this to, like, 1.8, you should see a difference. Not really, so let me change that to, like, 4, just so you can really see it. Oh, that was aggro, oops. So let me, I forgot. Hello. Oh. Okay, sorry guys. Okay, so that was the wrong one. Um, it's supposed to be up here. Where? Yeah, that's monster speed. I, oh, I might have forgotten to add it. Um, I will add that before it releases probably the animation speed because I forgot to add that. So yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I've gone ahead and removed everything from the AI, and I'm gonna be showing you how to set it up from your own monster, real quick. So first you're going to go and join my discord, the link will be in the description. That'll have this, the script I'm using. You just want to go ahead and download that. Download it real quick. Go to Unity, and wherever you want to save it, I'm just going to save it here for now. I'm going to right click, import new asset, go to your downloads or wherever you downloaded it to, open it, or click it, and import. Or you can just open in a separate file explorer and drag it in. So now what you're going to want to do is, uh, that's because I have it saved somewhere else. Uh, it's fine if you, well, it's not fine if you have that, but for me, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, that's because I have the same script saved somewhere else. So just drag this into, well, first you're going to want to create like a, for me, I have a cube, um, that, which is this, because for some reason for me, the actual model didn't want to use the nav mesh, like it just wouldn't work. I had to make a separate cube and put this as a child so it keeps it the same position as the cube. Um, and you're going to want to take time to rotate the monster model. That way, when the cube is facing towards the player, so is the monster. And then after that, you're going to want to um, drag this in. Um, I'm going to just go and grab the other one and delete this one, but it should work for you. Okay, so I went and got the other script and dragged it in. So, yeah. So once you drag that in, what you're going to want to do is add a component, nav mesh agent. Okay. You can adjust these as you feel necessary. Make sure it is humanoid. Um, if you're monster, I mean, yeah, just make sure it's humanoid. So keep all of this the same. You can change it if you want. It doesn't really matter. And you're going to drag that into here. Oh, wait, I added that to the wrong thing. Oops. I have this locked hold on so oh, cancel that 
unlock this so I can open the actual chest. So, so in here, um, in this, actually I had it in the right, I'm going insane. Sorry. Okay, so now drag this into here. Make sure that's there. For the selected camera, make sure you go up, go to Gorilla Rig, Gorilla Player, and drag the main camera. So now you can kind of ignore this. It's it doesn't I haven't really bothered with it or looked to see what it does. Um I'm sure the original like creator explains it, but I don't remember where I got it from. Um the animator, you're gonna go into your model or whatever you have um your animation set. Um I'm not gonna be showing you how to make animations in this tutorial, but it's pretty easy to find. So I just wanna like uh, I think I can just drag the thing in. Oops. I drag the this and it should just work. Yeah. So get the animator. So now this is all set up. Make sure this has the target tag of player. Because if you go into your... Like, if you go into your resources, Photon VR. If you have Photon VR, that is. Um, If you go up here... I might be going insane. Oh, where was it? I don't actually think was it in the room. I don't remember. Um, I actually don't remember where it is. Um, anyway, you should just have the tag player in there somewhere because I do. I don't remember what it's in, but so let me go back to here. Go back down. Anyway, uh, make sure it's player. I mean, it doesn't really matter what you use as long as it's actually connected to the player. Um, I'm just going to ignore this for now. This all works. Monster speed. That all works. So down here is where you can, like, how many, I guess, I won't want to say seconds, but, like, the max, um, like, value until it turns on aggro. Here is how much it increases by every frame. This is how fast the animations play while it's in aggro. Um, because right here, I'm going to set it to like, I don't know. Um, I'm going to say like 2. The aggro speed is set to 4 because the normal speed is 3.5. Just make it slightly faster. Um, don't touch this. This is just so you can monitor what's happening. Um, that's all working. So now, you want to click your map. Like the whole object, okay. And you want to go to window, AI, navigation obsolete, and click that. That'll open up this, okay. You want to if you're over here or over here, you don't want to go to object. Um. Turn on walkable. So click navigation static and turn on generate off mesh links. Click this. Make sure it's on walkable, okay. Then you're going to want to press bake. Oh, by the way, yeah. So hold on. So you're going to press bake. That'll bake. It might take longer for you. But if you don't have the navigation, you're going to want to go up to here into the window. Um, If I remember, yeah, package manager. And you're going to want to look for look packages, unity registry. Search for AI. And install the AI navigation. And then you might need a restart. I don't remember. But it should be there now. So after you do that. If you want to have walls like this. Sorry for the lighting. I got to fix it. If you want to have walls like this. To, to where the AI or monster can't pass through. Just select one at a time. Or wherever you place them. And then click this. Don't turn this on. Go to non-walkable. Go back and press bake for all of them. So I just do the same for all of these. Um, they're already set up though, so I'm not going to do that. And then after that, um, let me let me see if there's anything I'm missing. I don't think there is, other than the fact that make sure if you do have what I'd have with the cube and whatnot. Make sure mesh render is off so the players can't see that unless you want them to for whatever reason. Um, I sc make sure it is scaled up to the. Oops. Make sure it is scale. I'm gonna drag this out real quick. Make sure the cube is dragged up to the model scale. 
That way, if the player is looking at the model at any point, it will um, freeze it. Because if you don't, it'll just you'll have to look at where the cube normally would be to freeze the monster. Let me drag that back. There we go. And I think that's everything. Let me just. Um, oh yeah. Now, if you want it to be networked, um, add the component. You need photon for this, by the way. Photon view. Add that. Don't have to actually turn on. Make sure it's takeover. And I think if I remember, reviable delta compressed. And then after that, you want to go add component. Photon transform view. Make sure I don't. I wouldn't recommend scale. I mean, it doesn't. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Um, this all looks good. And now that should be networked. Uh, might as well add it to this. I might be doing something dumb here, but I don't think I am. Let's do the same thing. Take over. Bubble Delta Compressed. Okay, now after that, that should be everything, but I'm just going to take a quick look and see if I have it all correct and see if it's working. And if it is, I will show you guys the result. Okay, sorry about that. It is working, so I'm going to show you guys the result. Um, I would recommend, for the first testing, I would recommend to lock where you have all this stuff at. Um, also, make sure Box Collider is a trigger. Um, so that way you can still see the scanning. I'm gonna, in my Photon VR, I'm going to turn on... Um, oh, I forgot I locked it already. I'm going to just turn that on because the offline VR rig is a little broken for my game right now. I need to fix it. So now I'm going to go back, open this lock it and I'm going to turn it I'm gonna disable this at the beginning so it doesn't just straight run for the player so now um if I go to the real player I'm gonna turn off the mesh renderer for the cube if I go here and I turn this on it'll freeze and that starts gaining Look away, it'll start chasing the player. Can't go outside the walls you set if you set them. If I look at it, oh, if I look at it, that'll start gaining over time. I'm just going to give that a boost of 13. After it hits 15, it'll start chasing you with the custom animation speed. You can't stop it. So your best goal is just or best chance is just run away um and there you guys go um i will have a link to someone else's tutorial on how to make a weeping angel script with animations um he will show you how and yeah i mean just make actually even if there are no animations hold on let me check this script real quick and see if i have to edit it so it can work without animations okay so it will work without animations just make sure that the actual model or the ai block has an animator and to drag that in uh because it freezes the animate or it freezes the or sets the speed to zero to freeze it um so just make sure it has an animator and all should work perfectly fine um, I think I showed that in tutorial. I actually don't remember. Um, but yeah, just make sure inside of the model you have an animator. Um, I don't think you might have to put these in, but I'm not 100% on that. Sorry, um, but it should work perfectly fine. And just leave a like and hit the subscribe button if you like the content. Sorry, this isn't the most like um, consecutive or organized tutorial. I just kind of go about this without a script. Um, feel free to share Discord with your friends because I'm trying to grow it in a better community. Um, and the app, actually, the, my game, um, Hell Monkeys, just released um, that you can download, like an APK that you can download with SideQuest. Hopefully soon it will get approved for App Lab, and then you can download it from there and just run it on standalone without needing SideQuest. Thanks for watching. Bye.